Hey, this is Mark here. Uh, just woke up uh, not too long ago, and you know this is fresh in my head, in my mind. So I wanted to share with you. Um, so I noticed that on my YouTube channel, um, you know, I don't usually get a ton of comments, but I've recently started taking a product. It's a ratfish a liver oil, and I get these comments and they're usually very similar like oh I tried this two days ago you know I don't like it um, it's having an effect like and um, or they will send a link to an article so either there's not a lot of articles out there um, on the topic or um, it just seems like a competitor of the brand so what's interesting is, you know, when you click on the person who's commenting, it's like their um, account looks so fake. You know, it doesn't seem like it's a real um, person because it will, it, the picture doesn't match up with the video likes and there's not much there. You know, they just, it's like they do three different playlists. It's, I don't know, it just seems, um, fake and so <clears throat> that um, article too that is um, talks about fish oil um, pollution in Norway um, where the product is manufactured it's um, just on a blog site and even in the comments of the blog they're like well where's this where's this report you're talking about where's the source and um, when I tried you know Google searching for it I couldn't find it either so um, you know, I just throw that out there that a lot of people, especially um, when you look at like blogs and stuff, they have a product or service that they are actually selling. So when you see these reviews and they're bashing another product or service, um, it's really to drive you to something else. And I see like with the the fish oil, the red fish oil. Another thing is someone will say. Oh, I'm doing skate fish too, which is a um, it's a more common product, um, and I'm like it's the same thing, you know. And when you start researching it, it isn't. But it's kind of like why do people keep saying that? So, um, you know, if you're looking for negative reviews or positive reviews on any product or service, you're gonna find what you're looking for. And I find. For me personally, that you know, if you want to try something um, out, the only person who's going to be the best judge for if something's right for you is yourself. And so, um, you know, just know that a lot of uh, you know blogs and others have their own agendas of what you know alternative options that they're really trying to push for you when you you know see a negative ad um, and I know in the space for the um, training that I do in the community that I'm part of that there are alternative options out there and I see people blog and, and bash um, our community and that have never been part of it never experienced it uh, for themselves so that's why I um, you know offer from time to time just a free trial so people can experience it um, and everyone gets different value or enjoyment out of different things too so that's a consideration like movie critics totally tore up and hated that emoji movie and that thing ended up making over 200 million dollars in the box office because kids loved it and families you know got a kick out of it so um, you know don't always um, take the uh, critic's opinion or someone who's just seems to be bashing something for um, out of the blue no reason all right uh, hopefully this helps and i just uh, wanted to get it to you um, while it's fresh in my mind um, i haven't even had breakfast yet so i'm off to go do that and uh, i'll talk to you later bye